Hello everyone, this is John from Compass Rose Bushcraft. Today I want to take a look at uh, a knife that I have carried at my side for over 40 years and is actually the reason for this channel. Uh, it's a Canadian designed and made knife and one of the things I have found uh, looking on YouTube is that a lot of the reviewers um, and the bushcraft uh, specialists come out of the United States and as a result of that, they tend to review products that are familiar to them out of the American context. But in Canada, we make some very fine products, and I wanted to have an opportunity to not only review a few of those, but also perhaps speak a little bit to how, as Canadians, we tend to uh, live uh, with our own unique style within bushcraft and wilderness. So the knife is the D.H. Russell Canadian Belt Knife made by Groman out of Picto, Nova Scotia. The sheath is a simple pocket sheath. This is not the original sheath. The original gave up the ghost a year or two ago. So I used it as a template to make a new sheath. It uh, is shaped to the blade and holds the blade reasonably well in place, but is readily available when you want to draw it because it has no um, snaps or clips or anything like that to hold it in place. Um, it has a kind of a dangler leather strap that hangs from the belt, and I have found it to be um, a, a very fine way of carrying this knife and makes it easy to hand when you want it. The blade itself is a unique design, an elliptical blade. It is made of eighth inch stock. It is available in high carbon stainless and also in carbon steel, and this is the carbon steel model. Um, the, uh, has a, the knife has a little bit of jimping right where the thumb would go onto the blade for certain kinds of cuts that one is making. And the unique handle shape is uh, something that I've really found uh, I enjoy. I've seen some criticism of that online because it's not the thick, robust handle of a bushcraft knife. And yet this knife was designed to be a general usage camping knife. And I find that my hand, which is a medium-sized man's hand, fits around this handle really well and I hold the knife very securely. The slight swelling in the palm means that I have good control laterally of the knife for those various tasks where one is trying to carve or, or to create a curve. And I've never had a problem with the knife either slipping or falling. Um, the shape also means that I can hold back on the handle or I can move right up almost right onto the blade. I have been able to use this knife in all of the camping tasks until about five years ago. It was the only knife I carried. Um, and uh, I have used it uh, in food preparation on the campsite. I've used it to make notches uh, as I've been practicing some of the notching that is uh, part of bushcraft. Um, I've used it for a number of whittling tasks on campsites from making tent pegs uh, to on a campsite last year. We got there to find out that there were no grills and we had a pork tenderloin we wanted to cook for dinner. So in just a few minutes I was able to go into the bush and pull out a longer stick and uh, uh, split the end of the stick and, and whittle the points onto it to make a frog gig that we were able to put the pork tenderloin on and use it as a spit to roast it over the fire. And uh, that uh, took very short time. The knife was beautiful to use in shaping the points that we would use um, in pre for the meat preparation. Um, I have on one occasion, uh, because it is a carbon steel blade, used it to strike a spark and do char cloth to uh, make the night's campfire. Although I don't recommend that usage because it does tend to do some damage to the back of the knife. But it's nice to know that it can do it and that's why I did it. It was just as an experiment to see if it would do it. Um, it is the knife that I carry with me as kind of uh, my all-purpose knife at my side in my canoe when I am on paddling trips and I've used it to cut rope and nylon webbing and all of the kinds of very practical tasks that one needs a knife for in a canoe or, or around a campsite. I'm not personally a hunter, but I have friends who are and they carry the Groman um, uh, Russell knife 
because the elliptical blade and the shape of the handle works very, very well for the uh, field dressing of game. Um, the um, knife, uh, my knife, as you can see, has quite a patina on it after 40 some odd years. It has been carried in sunny weather and in rain and in snow and very occasionally um, in such usage when you don't have a chance to really work on the blade over a couple of days of rain. It's got a little rust on it, but a little bit of work takes that off um, and uh, the knife holds a, a, a great edge. Uh, and I've never had a complaint about its ability to cut and I've never had it fail me in any circumstance. But the result of that is that the knife has uh, quite a patina on it that shows the years of of care and work and love that have gone um, that have gone with it. The uh, original handle, the original handle material, I believe, is a rosewood, and again, it has stood the test of time and um, has been reliable and uh, comfortable to use in the hand. It doesn't seem to get overly slippery if it gets wet or covered in perspiration. Now this knife is over 40 years old and there are some modest modifications that Groman have made to the knife in recent years. One of them is that the third pin has been replaced with a lanyard hole so that all of the newer ones come with a lanyard on them. And the other difference I've noticed in comparing it to some of my friends' newer Russell knives um, are, is that uh, the handle here uh, is a little more sculpted on mine um, and um, the, the newer ones um, don't have the, the, the double bevel on the handle right where it meets the blade. But those are very modest differences. Um, it is still an excellent Canadian-made knife by a good, solid Canadian knife-making company. Um, they're affordable and reliable, and it has been a good friend to me for over 40 years. So this is John from Compass Rose Bushcraft and uh, I invite you to like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching.